Trick or treat, it's Halloween time. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you on Halloween. That's right, Halloween. Ooh, the scariest day of the year. Halloween, isn't it? How many times are I going to say the word Halloween? Anyway, I thought we'd do a video where we go back and look at some news articles. Uh, a new series I call, what do I call it? I forgot. Articles from the newsstand. I've done one of these already, and this is going to be episode two, and hopefully you will like more, like it, and we'll do more of them. But this one I wanted to talk about because it's Halloween related. We're going to go back to a news article from 1977, and this article is going to talk about Star Wars Halloween costumes and how hard they were to find for Halloween 1977. Now I'll just read you the article and kind of comment on it, and hopefully you won't get too scared. So I'm going to look away over here. won't be staring at you the whole time while I try to read. And we're going to go to Seattle again for October 1977. The headline reads, Rare Star Wars Costumes Ship into Hyper Demand. Try to make a little Star Wars sounding right there with Hyper Demand, didn't they? You know, Hyper Drive, I guess. Okay, let's go here. Richard Nixon and Darth Vader are far more popular than Adolf Hitler. Oh, uh, yeah, I know that when it comes to local demand for Halloween costumes. Well, I think they're more popular anyway, or at least more liked. I mean, okay, maybe a few people like Richard Nixon. He's not the most loved president of all. And people love to hate Darth Vader. But when it comes to Adolf Hitler, no one loves him. You don't even love to hate him. You don't love anything about him. I hope not. I hope no one's watching my videos a fan of Hitler. Uh-oh, said the H word. Not gonna make any money off this video. Just like the last video I made, it was too racy for YouTube. Boom. Customer retailers gearing up for the holiday say they can't get their hands on either Wookiees or R2-D2 suits to meet the demand. Man, everybody wanted to dress up like something from Star Wars. You could always just make your costumes, like these people here. Let's get back to the story. Major characters from the hit movie Star Wars seems to be the most popular subject for impersonations. Yes, it's very popular. Who wouldn't want to dress up like someone from Star Wars? Only one firm is authorized to manufacture the $40 mask for Star Wars characters. I'm guessing they mean the Don Post mask. Why like these right here? Local supply houses say their shipments Promise in time for Halloween won't arrive till December. Why even ship them? Well, I guess you can dress up like Darth Vader for Christmas, but that's no fun. <sighs> Halloween costumes not until Christmas? What gives? That's like not having Star Wars toys ready for Christmas and just releasing an empty cardboard box. Let's continue the read. The Brooklyn Costume Company says they receive six or, let me go back to the top, six or seven calls a day for Star Wars outfits that aren't in stock. Sorry, kids. The company also has done a brisk business in black Darth Vader style capes. Back before Star Wars, they were just called vampire capes, but now they're Darth Vader capes. They also sold loads of Princess Leia braids. I guess you could tie the braids up into a bun. Don't really call that braids, but hey, I don't know anything about hairstyles. In campaign display and costume, Virginia Lau says a lot of customers are buying a gold and silver gear makeup to create their very own R2-D2 and C-3PO robot effects. Robot effects? I guess so. But people did make their own R2 and 3PO costumes. Check these out. For others unwilling or unable to design their costumes for their choice, she says there's other favorable costumes to buy. 
like a Playboy bunny, pirates, flappers, and Wonder Woman. Flappers? What is a flapper? I never dressed up as a flapper on Halloween. I never saw anyone dress up as a flapper on Halloween. I don't even know what a flapper is. I don't even know how you would dress up like a flapper. I know what a Playboy bunny is. I know what pirates are. I know what Wonder Woman is. Flappers? What is flapper? The only thing I can think of when I read that word is that dolphin from like the 60s. What was his name? Flipper. But that's not what it says. It says flappers. I don't know why I'm thinking flipper. What is a flapper? What is a flapper? I've seen a lot of crazy costumes back in the 80s when I was growing up, or the late 70s in this case, but I've never seen a flapper. What is a flapper? I need to know. But check out these non-Star Wars 80s and 70s costumes for Halloween. Now let's get back to the article. She says she had she says she has a few requests. That's hard to read. That's like saying Sally sells seas by the seashore or whatever. See, okay, let me start over. She says she had a few requests she couldn't fill. Several people wanted a Hitler costume. Who are these people? Where they're going to have their Halloween party at a skinhead convention? Let's go on. And there's been a lot of requests for the city of Seattle police uniforms. I guess so. I mean, I guess any kind of police uniform would do, but I guess people in Seattle wanted to look just like the city police. I think that might be illegal. Also hard to find this Halloween season, Nixon mask. Nixon mask? This is 1977. When did Nixon leave office? I think it was 1972. A good year, I might add. But... Why are people still dressing up like Richard M. Nixon in 1977? I guess when you can't find a Darth Vader mask, or for some reason an Adolf Hitler costume, I guess you'll just have to go for the next thing, a Nixon mask. Well, I'm not a crook. Anyway, that's a look at our article from 1977. Now, before we leave, let's look at some more vintage Halloween costumes. Max stopped dead in her tracks while the trailer blew high in the air. There was pieces of truck and some pieces of duck, of junk and debris everywhere. Then the rig took a drink and commenced to sink, and there was no duck no more. But that evil smile from dirty old Al showed south from the North Texas shore. I don't know about you guys, but I really love Halloween, especially as a kid. I loved it as a little kid dressing up like my favorite characters, but then that early teen years, maybe 12 to 15, where it's the first time you're out with your friends without any parents around, walking around in the dark, seeing others from school that you normally don't hang out with, it was a great time. I love Halloween. I remember going to Zares and getting one of those masks that came in the cake box. You know those masks that were in cake boxes? They came with a mask and a vinyl smock. Usually, it didn't look anything like from the films or the television show. Let's say it'd be like Boba Fett and the apron part or shirt, whatever you want to call it, the smock, would just have a picture of Boba Fett on it instead of looking like he did in the film. But we didn't care. It was great. But remember those masks with a little slit for your mouth to breathe, but you end up sticking your tongue through it all night until you got home and you had cuts all over your tongue? I sure remember that. It also had a rubber band on the back that would break within 20 minutes of wearing this mask out to Halloween. And then, of course, you would have to tie it back. And then about 20 minutes later, a break again. So by the time you were done trick-or-treating, the mask was so tight on your face, it left an imprint of the mask for a week. <sighs> great times, great times. <laughs> anyway, that's a little look at Halloween and a reading an article from 1977 about how hard it was to find Star Wars costumes. I hope you're enjoying this Halloween and you might see another Halloween video later tonight. I want to thank you for watching. As always, please subscribe to the channel. Hit thumbs up so I know you like my content. And Fred, take us out of here. And thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>